Welcome, everyone. I'm so excited to tell you about this podcast. It's called The DK Project, but it's really The Darren Show. So thanks for tuning in. You're going to want to sit back, buckle up, and enjoy the ride. Let's go! Happy Friday! From the sound hole, we are uh, rolling in with a little blues. Love if anybody it. wants to write in and uh, give us their opinion on who or what this might be, it's pretty good. Hit us up at the DK Project This is Diamond Dave's Deep Takes. Diamond Dave's Deep Take on a Friday. I'm gonna ride into South Dakota. What you girls in? Blue to soda. That's, that's all you get. Now we're in. That's it. Now we're in. You just cut me off right before my big move, man. It, oh, you had a big move coming? No, 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 no. It's probably better. All right. <laughs> it's a it's a family show. How's everybody doing? Good. It's uh, episode forty six of the DK Project. We are rolling along with nothing but awesome weekend vibes coming in. We. Uh, we're again recording on a Friday. It's the uh, gateway to the weekend, as they say. I kind of think that's on Thursday, but what are you going to do? Thursday is the starter day for the college kids. Is it really? Are I you getting a little? Are you getting a little college kid feedback? I'm I getting, am. I'm getting uh, a very similar sound uh, to crickets. I get nothing. Really? I get nothing. Nope. I'm getting that feedback. I think he's having too much fun. So Monday to Thursday afternoon. Thursday at six. Yeah. Things are that's, all about That's school. game time, baby, huh? Yep. yep. Six on, she's a weekend. So I didn't know when you went to college that you got a three-day weekend. Hell yeah, dude. Why not? That's like a three-day and six-hour weekend. Bingo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you know they're going hard in the paint Thursday night. I still have some eligibility left. I'm going back. I got full eligibility. <laughs> I'm going back. <laughs> I, uh, boy, I tell you, it took everything I had to not sign up at GCU while I was there. <laughs> hey, who's the fat old guy on campus? That's the new guy. You'd just be like the cat from uh, Rodney Dangerfield in that movie. I'll tell you what. I'll come up there to see you. No, that bad. Yeah. Ah! Dad, uh, what are you doing here? I'm going to college. What do you think? I think you're nuts. Hey, folks, it's on me. Shakespeare for everyone, okay? Who is that? Darren Kameyer. The world's oldest living freshman. Movie. Hell yeah, man. So uh, what are you hearing? Is he uh, is he just living the dream or what? On your, on your, on your <laughs> dime? He's living the dream. He's pretty happy about it. Yeah. So I had a big week. So Josie, the daughter, and this photographer won this uh, Princess of the Lake or Lake Whoa. Goddess. Thing for Lake Minnetonka Magazine. Come on. Yeah. And then I flip open the metro section yesterday, and my kid's face is painted right there. Doing, cha-ching, doing, cha-ching. Yeah. Here comes some dollar signs, kids. So it's just like, what the I hell? know how we're paying for uh, Josie's college. We're going to try. Hell yeah, man. You can, you can quit your job. You were talking about it this morning. I got to do something different. My body can't handle it. Plus, I want to run a Hello. Marathon. Hello. This message is to Chris. Dave doesn't mm-hmm. want to work anymore. No, I want to run a marathon. And if I oh, continue doing hell. this to my body, See, I won't be able to do it. Everything was serious until you said you're going to run a marathon. Oh, no, I am. When are you going to run a Bullshit. I am. A full marathon? Yep. Grandma's next year, June 20th. Oh, my God. I start training Monday. With who? I don't need a coach. What do you mean with who? <sighs> 30, what are they, 36 miles? Well, no. 29, 26. I don't even know how many miles it is. 26. <laughs> Evidently, you Why, never Why, dude? It. Why? Because I, it's a bucket list thing. I want to do it. I'm not going to turn into some... How many miles do you... Okay, so Monday. Let's break down Let's break down our training. Oh, okay. How many miles on Monday? I'm dude, lo- I think this is a wild hair that's going to disappear. I'm looking to get a half. On Monday? Well, I, I don't... I'm pretty out of shape. I mean, I'm athletic, but I'm... Not in shape. You're talking about dropping 13 on Monday? No, half a mile. 
<laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> yeah. Yes, a half a mile. And I might have to walk half of it. But oh. hey, you got to start somewhere, right? You do. Look at me laughing. I'm like, fucking, I'm sweating just thinking about it. You want to do it with me? Oh, fuck. The project representing at the grandma's? Yeah. Dude, I, that's not even on the radar. Okay, it's going to be on the radar. We can keep talking about it, too, from show to show to show. Are you serious? To show to show. You're going to start Monday. Monday, yep. which is October 7th. Five in the morning. When? <clears throat> you just keep, the hits just keep on coming, huh? Yeah. Five in the morning? Yeah. What happens at five in the morning? That's when I'm going to get up. I'm going to do the Rocky thing. I'm in the drink dark? The raw eggs and shit. And I'm Are gonna, you really? Yeah, I'm going to put hey, on the Hey, <laughs> run. Get my smokes. I'm going out for a run. That's exactly are you, right. Are you going to run outside? Well, yeah. It's dark out at five. I'll put a little headlamp. You're going to go headlamp? I might. I don't oh, know. Dude, I'm going to come over there on my bike, and I'm going to play the Rocky music while you're running your half mile. I'm going to be Mick the trainer right behind you the whole time. Come on, where are your guts? What's your problem, Mick? My problem? Yeah. You got a problem, kid. You got a ticker problem. What's the matter? You got nothing left inside, huh? Because you're training like a damn bum, you know that? Bum. A bum! Maybe you're right. Maybe I ain't got it no more. All right. Then don't you waste my time no more. You hear that? Go away. Go back to the docks where you belong. You go back to being a two-bit nothing. Can I? Yeah. We'll video it. You can do it right now. high! now (laughs) 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 meanwhile i'll just be so positive i'll be like dude there's no way there's no way you're gonna oh yeah you're gonna be there's no way a bastion of positivity i i i've got a i've got a few things that i'm working on right now and this doesn't seem completely out of the realm i mean it seemed like my wife is probably having a hysterical laugh attack right now because uh, you know i've done a 5k i got a 5k under the belt See, I'm not even that level yet. That was like uh, DK walking 1K, and then, no, I jogged half K, and then I <laughs> and then I walked the rest. But I completed it, because on a, on a, I can do a marathon. I just have to walk a lot of it. I don't know. See, I would do it. You know why? I would do it just because I want the T-shirt. Man, marathon T-shirts are badass. I'm telling you, my wife, my wife runs- I'll get all, you one. My wife- I, yeah, it doesn't really have the same value when what do it's second Do you need like a triple X or what are you looking Whoa, for? Oh, <laughs> shooter. When is the actual marathon? June 20th. June 20th, 20, ooh, 2020. 2020 says, ugh. Damn, I don't know, man. I'm going to think about that. That's something you don't just make a decision on. That's something you have to like commit to. Because I'm like, because I'm at that point where I, I got to make, you know, something's got to happen here. What do you mean you commit to it? You just say, I want to do it, and then you do it. Right, but you have to commit to training for it. Normally, they say it takes 18 weeks to get your body ready for it. I'm on the much longer Yeah, plan. I'm on the 18-month plan. <laughs> yeah. I, um, you know, I don't have the uh, Mickey Mantle gene like Burt Kreischer. He, uh, he didn't train at all, and he ran a marathon. No way. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he claims he has this Mickey Mantle gene, right? This guy's such a clown. Funny as hell, though. Awesome to see live. Um, but but he was just on, he does um, his own podcast, and then he does one called uh, Two Bears, One Cave with Tom Segura. Right. And he had a custom shirt made that said Mickey Mantle Gene on it. And he didn't think that there was a Mickey Mantle estate with, sib- or, uh, with heirs to the estate who are going to be a little pissed about him selling shirts that say Mickey Mantle on them. Says he's got the DNA. He didn't even you know. know. He, didn't, he like totally <laughs> caught him off guard during this podcast that, oh my gosh, I'm probably going to get sued here. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, so he did it. I, I don't think I'm going to do that. I So that gives you six, uh, two, that's an eight-month training session, eight months, four weeks a month. That's 32. So you're almost doubling the recommended. I am doubling. If I start Monday, I pretty much double Are you going to wear those little shorts? Little shorts? No. I'm not doing that. You you know what? You know, here's the deal. If you, if you, what's that? I said, I swore, so I. Oh. Changed it to stuff. What? Remember the no swear? Here's the deal. I uh, Yeah, I actually had a lot of people coming up to me talking about your filthy mouth, trucker. <laughs> um, I, uh, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I'm thinking about joining you in this deal. But if you decide to do it. Yeah. 
We're going to go full Rocky sweatsuit, gray pants, gray top with DK Project logos all over it. And black Converse, because that's what he ran in in Rocky. Oh, that well, might be hard on you, the feet. You know what though? I've got I've got I've got uh Chuck Twos in black with uh, with uh, the good Luke good John, insoles. Could, yeah. But still, dude, that might be a little much. I don't know. What I'm, about what about just a, like a black Asics? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and you could just get covers made for him. <laughs> just get some false tops. Maybe that, some black Jordans or something. Yeah, I don't well, know. I uh well, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll worry about the footwear <laughs> another day. Got him such a foot nerd. You know what, dude? Someone came up to me this week and uh, was giving me hell about your foot shoe problem. Were they? Yeah, which was a little weird. That's when I sent you that picture going, what do you think of these shoes? Yeah. Because like, they, they, they they said, hey, Dave's Dave's going to love these shoes. This is a Dave thing. No. <laughs> Those were like sweet pimping shoes though, weren't they? Hey, yeah, I went to- uh, You're Snoop Dogg. Yeah, they were total Snoop Dogg, weren't they? <laughs> The first thing I thought. Oh. Is he hanging out with Snoop Dogg? Yeah, I was with Snoop Dogg that day. That's true. That's true. All right, here's the deal. I uh, reluctantly got uh, uh, tickets. I didn't reluctantly get them. The wife bought them. And I'm like, four? Uh, the loons. Kickball. Pro kickball. And I had just gone to a game and I was in a suite, you know, full deal. First parking spot next to the door. I mean, cherry setup. I Did mean, that come with the tickets? Not these ones with the uh, with the sweet tickets. Yeah, oh, they, yeah. They right. had the parking pass and everything. And uh, so these t- these tickets that my wife got were with the team, like the high school team. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, Jesus, these are oh, you know, I better bring a tissue because they're going to have a bleeding nose. Uh, but it weren't. Well, it wasn't bad, right? So I. I I'm like, all right, let's go. So I ended up getting parking. I scored parking like two blocks away, which wasn't bad because parking for that Allianz field is complete dog shit. I mean, yeah, who are they kidding? No parking ramp, nothing. So anyway, we find parking. We get in there. Everything's cool. We're doing some laps because when I was there with the suite, I was just hanging in the suite. I didn't like check the place out or anything. And they got some neat stuff there, blah, 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 blah. Hanging in the suite, eating nachos. Yeah, chicken wing. (laughs) And... uh, so we go up by our seats and the kid took the bus, the 13 year old took the bus and we find him and he's just all upset. We're like, what, what's going on? Why he's sitting by himself? I'm like, where's the team? What are you doing? You know, there's a team thing, team. Right, right. And he, uh, he's like, you know what? I got to the gate and they took my bag. They took my, my he had like a, uh, they've got this like half shoulder bag that, yeah. uh, my older son got at a soccer tournament a long time ago, the Schwann's cup. And and the thirteen year old, it's like it's like treasure. I mean, that's like his favorite thing on the face of the earth is this bag. And you can't bring bags into stuff anymore. You can't bring bags into any stadium events, which I didn't know. So he's all emotional and blah blah. I'm like, well, well let's go talk to him. You know, where were you? Whatever. He goes, I came in that door down there, but it's gone. They made me throw it away. So he's holding like his stuff, like his phone and his charger and his whatever else he had. And I'm like, you know what? The family bag they made you toss? Yes. They wouldn't even let you hold, like, we'll no. just put it over here and you no. grab it when you leave? No. Oh, yeah, they don't, yeah. Oh, home run idea, dude. Lockers right at the door. Well, yeah. Wow. Shh. Keep that between us. All right. <laughs> and uh, so I'm like, you know what? Let me go look into it. So I go over there and I uh, find the gate guy. I'm like, hey, man, I got a little dude who's pretty upset he had a backpack, and when he got to the door, they made him throw it away. And the guy's like, throw it away? And he goes, why did they throw it away? And I said, well, the bus had already left, and he didn't have you know, he didn't have anywhere. And I said, I drove separately, so I wasn't there. And the guy's like, and the guy was super cool. It was like a manager or something. And uh, he goes, you know what? If you want to go out there and look in the garbage cans, go ahead. So I go out there. I'm looking through the garbage. And it wasn't that big of a time gap, so that was right on top. Right. I'm like, boom, found the bag, right? And I'm like, geez, there's money in here. The kid had all this money in there. He, so, and he didn't have time to grab it. Well, he took the phone, left the yeah. dough. You got, yeah, exactly. You got, got all the important stuff. And uh, so I grabbed the bag, and then I like roll it up and put it in my pocket. I'm like, oh, we're fine, you know, whatever. And they're like, you can't come back in here with that. I'm like, what do you mean? It's empty. It's rolled up. It's in my pocket. You know, like if I, if I would have... You know, if you didn't know what I was doing, you would have never known it was in my pocket and we would have been fine. No, 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 you can't bring it. I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? Because once you leave, you can't go back in. Like, So they're like, you know what? Run it to your car. I'll be here. Everything's fine. So I run it to the car, throw in the car, 
run all the way back. I didn't run. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know. You didn't start I did training yet. I did see a scooter. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a scooter. I could scoot. But, uh, and I'm so nervous because I'm like, this is just going to be a shit show. I'm going to get back to the gate. He's going to be on break. And they're right. going to be like, we don't know who you are. You don't have a ticket. You're not getting in. But sure enough, I walk up. The lady's like, oh, hey, how you doing? Through the security, the guy waves me in. Done. It was like such a disaster, but they handle it in such a, a, a you know, this guy really went above and beyond it, took took the initiative to make sure everything was cool. What, what I'm dumbfounded, almost speechless. What? If you have the bag rolled up with nothing in it in your pocket, it's obviously a small enough bag. It's not like to bring <sighs> in a Lulu backpack into the joint. I don't know. Why? Did they not let you just go in with the rolled up bag? That's what I'm saying. Like, really? Come on. You know, so so here's what I thought about doing. Because it was three blocks to my car. At about block one, I'm walking across this big open space. And I'm like. (gasps) Yeah. Like huffing. Not because I was winded. Because somebody decided to finish a full doobie on the way in. (laughs) Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. How's the pot smoke in here? We're doing the crowd. I'm like, wow, dude, butt it out before you get in the parking Is lot. Is soccer a big chronic sport? Oh, come on. It's a pot sport? Top top uh, man buns and pot. Come on. So here's the other Is problem. Is there hot chicks at soccer? Like women? I don't know, dude. Come on. I roll, look... I roll with a hot chick. I don't look around. I know around. you do, but. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, there wasn't at this game. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. You might have it to was go rainy to... and cold. Everybody had their ugly weather shit on. Mm, you might have to go to L.A. for that. I'm I'm not, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm there to watch soccer, dude. I'm not there All to pick right. up chicks. All right. So here's the other thing. The wife and I get up and we're like, hey, let's go uh, meander around, see what kind of fat shit we can put into the machine. And uh, she's like, oh, I got to use the bathroom. All right, cool. So we go down. And she's like running to the bathroom you know normally the women's has a line like forever and we're walking around and i don't know maybe. i love it that you have running on your mind you've you've been alluding to running have i use the word running too yeah. much yeah no it's i like I it believe, i think I you're in the post-production I, I think you're in i don't know I don't sorry know. to interrupt go ahead flying higher <laughs> hey do you, do you know what uh uh side note do you yeah. know what Rocky's turtles' names were? Oh, um, come on! Oh boy, I got it. One right on my uh, Cleta? No, um, Guff and Link. Guff and Link. Guff. Just and Link. And his Link. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like him. I got him down there. So back story. to the old <laughs> soccer match. We're out walking around, and uh, there's a really long line. I'm like, God, there must be some sweet food up here because these guys, uh, this is a l- lengthy line. And I get to the the towards the front of the line, and it isn't food. It's the men's bathroom. The line? There's a line like probably 70 dudes deep. Next to a The line was spot. so long that it stretched around the stadium almost to another bathroom. If they would have turned around and walked like... I don't know, a hundred feet. There's there was another, another bathroom, but they're waiting in line for this bathroom. I'm like, were they giving away twenties in there? What's going on? The wife walks up, goes right into the girls. Done. Back out. We're in the chow line before you know it. How, what is that? What is this world coming to? A line for it's men? Hun- it's because no one wants to run a marathon. That's a hundred feet. They won't even do it. I think you're missing the point, dude. I think there's a serious problem here. I think a lot of men are sitting down to pee. <laughs> it's quite, at a soccer game. I guarantee you. <laughs> I guarantee no, that can't be. It is that. Uh, that's just not right. I. Uh, we don't do stall. We don't do troughs here. We do stalls. Yeah, everything's individual. <laughs> Everything Would you like a tuft of air on your bum? <laughs> Probably got a bidet in the man's bathroom. At the freaking soccer field. The wife said that uh, the the women's has uh, like constant. Uh, uh, deodorizer fragrance thing. Are they stinky at soccer? Uh, I think they're just stinky in general. <laughs> that uh, those are Dave's words, not Darren's. No, nope. uh, <laughs> that's funny as hell. Hey, ice cream store is closed. We uh, we shut her down for the season, and uh, you know the season's never long enough. 
I think that if we could uh, extend it a bit, the wife would be in the loony bin, but if, How it do brings, you, if it brings in a few extra dollars. <laughs> do you always close it on the same week every year? No, it varies. We, uh, depends. It seems to be getting shorter and shorter every year. Um, but, uh, we do, uh, uh, you know, once, once the kids go back to school in September and, uh, it starts to cool off, it's like a morgue. September is a bad month yeah. for us. And October, it, we stayed open till like October 15th once and that's just Losing no, proposition. Yeah, it just doesn't work. So then in the spring when you open back up, are there just people out it can front be, doing the Eddie Murphy? Yeah. 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 Well, the thing is, is in the spring, it's people want it to be warm. So they'll come out and, uh. They'll come out and uh, want to get ice cream. Where in the fall, everybody wants to hunker down and be warm. And, you know, they're like, oh, it's football and sporting events and homecoming. And But people just don't. You know, ice cream's not a thing. And I don't have indoor seating. So there's like no, um, there's no uh, where to sit. So everybody has to sit outside. You have room in there to put in a little seating. Why are you so hard on the folks? Uh, you know what? Because I'm not interested in it. Oh no! I it's a it's a handicap bathroom situation. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. They don't they don't like when you can't uh, get help, to the bathroom. Help the disabled. So and we just don't. This building's older than dirt. Older than dirt. So are the Vikings just in a flat tailspin or what? I don't know. I'm not. <clears throat> the digs thing's a problem. I mean, he's probably gone at some point if he continues. Zimmer's not going to put up with that shit. You know so, what? I, I I I want to break through here and and uh, let you know something. Kirk Cousins sucks ass and he needs to go. Okay, yeah, he's not going anywhere. He's guaranteed twenty nine so million dollars next year. So what? Bench him. He's ben, garbage. Bench him for Mannion. Whatever. Find somebody. Find. There's, Where do you just? Find how many it? people are in the? How many people are in the world? Billions. Well, yeah, but and you can't find somebody who's better than this stiff. There's, I've said it since he walked in the door. If you don't look like a stone cold killer, you can't be a quarterback. And he just looks like a goofball. When's the last time we had a stone cold killer quarterback? Tommy Kramer. <laughs> I was thinking Tommy. about looking for a Tommy Kramer jersey. Huh? Drunk Tommy How Kramer. How sweet with that? I don't know. Tarkenton? Was Tarkenton our quarterback? Yeah, but he wasn't a killer. He was good, though. He was good because he could scramble. He was kind of the first. Like, I don't think super we've had one. Scrambling quarterback. Hey, I talked to our uh, our uh, we've got a, a a friend who's a football guy. Yeah, I talked to him this week. Yeah, and I'm like, hey, uh, is your phone doesn't dial out? What's the deal? You're not calling back. He's like, oh no. He goes, I meant to call you back. He goes, I just don't want to talk. Uh, you know, I don't want to come in on the podcast after a loss. I'm like, well, then you're never going to get in. Yeah, exactly. that's all we do is lose. <laughs> that's so that's do. when we got the good meat is when they lose. Right. He only so, wants to come in after a win. I don't know. I don't think he wants to come in at He's all. Period. Out. What about uh, uh, what? What fixes this? I mean, the, the Bears thing. Come on, just stupid. Well, I don't want to get it's garbage. It's total garbage. I'm currently an unemployed <laughs> high school football coach, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm technically between opportunities. <laughs> between opportunities. <laughs> well, your your former team is crushing. <laughs> but I will tell you. I will tell you a that marathon. if you cannot... Who are we kidding? <laughs> no, I'm doing a marathon. Here's my take on the Bears game. If you can't get out of the out of your play plan, so you, you set up your, your plan for the game, Yeah. and if you can't adjust it quick enough when they're crushing you, and it's pretty easy to do, you, you're you running routes to guys that are... Who's take, that on? That's on the offensive coordinator. Gone. You're, you're taking routes on guys that are taking two seconds to 2.3 seconds to develop. Okay. But you only have a second point two, a second point three to get rid of the ball. <sighs> and let's say you're running an offense, and a lot of times we were running three wide receivers. So there's really four routes in there. Could be five, but you got to keep the tight end to block. So we're running 11 personnel. <laughs> X's and which, O's. Which is one tight end, <laughs> one tight end, a running back. So I think, you don't, I think this is a cry for, I think you're putting your job application in right no, now. No, I'm not. Hey, so, Zimmer. <laughs> so if you can't, if you can't get the ball quick enough, out quick enough to, to get the routes that you're, you're in a one and two route, your first two routes you're looking at, and you can't read a defense well, which he can't do, 
So he can read a defense after the ball snap, but if you don't have enough time, they got to go. You can't get it done. Fire. So them. if you can't pre-snap it, you have to be able to. What's a pre-snap? Pre-snap read. Look at the defense and n- uh, not only just say that. I always thought the pre-snap was trying to decide how much toilet paper to put down before you used a public restroom. Say oh. that's the mic because the mic's really easy to pick out. The mic's the middle linebacker. You know, he's easy to pick out. Right. See, that's the mic. That's the mic. You hear him say it all the time on the TV. Oh. But here's the thing. The rest of it you have to read. I was thinking saying, turn up my mic. No. The rest of it you have to read. Oh. So if you don't have enough time to read it after the snap and you can't read it pre-snap, you need to change the routes. So if you have three routes or four routes and there's <laughs> one, two, three, four, three and four are going to be your shorter routes. Do we just you have lost to, half my listeners you here? You're going to, way too deep. I know, but... What do you want? The answer to this just, is this person needs to be fired. Mm-mm. And this, yes. They need to learn. You can't just keep firing people. Need to people. learn. You just can't keep firing people. Need to. These are professional football players making millions of dollars. They Not need yet. to learn. They ain't that professional. Right. So gone. Well, there you, should be a clause in their contract that says if you don't know the game that we hired you to play, we ain't paying you. No, it's arrogance. Thinking Dummy. my plans, I, I, game plan is going to work. You know and what? It's how funny working. would that be if uh, if uh, the coach called him dummy? Hey, dummy. You, I, I don't know. Hey, you big was, dummy. Hey, what about uh, Rocco? You're a fucking dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I got a. Uh, I have a friend who's a Redskins fan, and he's like, "We're so happy to unload that pile of shit on you guys." He goes, "We we." Well, I'm certain. Right, but but so why is it? That we always buy old, used, recycled shit. I want some brand new, shiny stuff. I want somebody like this kid for the Gophers. He's killing it. Put him in. <laughs> He's a freshman. You know what's funny is <laughs> he could probably play for the Patriots. What? Yeah. Why do you say that? Because they have the best offense. They know what they're doing. Belichick is ahead of the other coaches constantly. Don't put me into another three-minute diet no, drive. No, no. The that. show can't handle it. But he's quick into it. He reads, uh, and they get their checkdowns right. So pressure summing up what Davis him. said is the Vikings suck, and Kirk Cousins needs to be fired. All right, dude. That's it in a nutshell. I see where you're at. I see where you're at. I don't know what you're going to do about that, though. I, uh, well... <laughs> fire fast, ask questions later. He's just not getting like, fired. Just like I handle my drywall guys at my houses. <laughs> You're fired. Get out. You're fired. Get out. No, I don't have any drywall guys. <laughs> anyway. That's, that, that's situations. Hey, guys, we can't They're not going to run out of quarterbacks. We can't play. We don't have a quarterback. What about, uh, what about your twins kicking off the old ALDS this afternoon? Kepler and Gonzalez are back. We're dun, ready dun, to dun, rock dun. and roll. They got a new Homer Hanky. A red one. Bamba. Do you know why they had to go with red? Because, of course I know. Why don't you tell the listeners? Okay. MLB made a rule that you can't have white hankies in the stadium because if the balls hit. Oh, come on. It can get lost in the hankies. Oh, that's the one answer I didn't want to hear. That's the rule. Are you kidding me? No. So they took away our traditional Homer hanky, which really sucks. I'm, I'm saying that the Twins, this is a five series, right? Best of five? Yep. So I'm guessing that the, it's going to go five because they're going to want all the money. And uh, I'm thinking the <laughs> twins are going to pull it off. Are you really? Uh-huh. I'm worried about it. Come on. I've been to that Yankee ballpark. I've been to the new one. I was in the old Yankee stadium. I had a, I had a client. Uh, I was taking the kid out. They, when, that, when my old, old, oldest kid was, uh, I don't know, like seven or eight, I said, hey, when you turn 16... Uh, when you turn 16, I'll take you to New York, you know, uh, whatever. Well, of course he never forgot that. So I had to take him to, uh, New York when he turned 16. But at the time I was working with some clients and, uh, they were from New York. They were investors and the guy's name was Gianni. Okay. So Gianni's like, Hey man, cause the twins were playing the Yankees that week. He goes, dude, let me hook you up with some seats. I'm like, oh, you don't have to do that. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking online. I'll get them on StubHub, you know, no big yep. deal. He goes, no, 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 just hold out. So he uh, sends me two tickets to the Yankee game in like, what's our, like our Champions Club. It's like that Yankee style. So they didn't have, well, I guess So it's it probably called President's Club. Well, man. it wasn't really that. I mean, we didn't have a buffet or anything, but uh, they had a server, you know, whatever you wanted. 
But that that old Yankee Stadium was small. Yeah. Like it felt like I was in in Williamsport at the Little League World Series. I mean, it's just like, wow, this is a small deal. But it was uh it was really a great experience. Uh and I'd like to go to the new ballpark, but boy, I tell you, with all the kickballers in my house, it's really hard to get a good uh, baseball uh, group together out of my house to go see some baseball. How did, yeah. We should go to a playoff game when it comes here. I know it. Is there a day game? We'll have to check. No, they. I, I can't imagine they'd do a day game. Well, maybe. It's got, it would I be bet Monday there's or one tu- day game in there. It would be Monday there. or Tuesday when they come here. So what do you think? It'll be like 40. <laughs> This is like the same thing as asking you about running a marathon with me. But what do you think of our pitching? It's 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 not strong enough. No. So Barrios is going to start tonight. It was a four o'clock game. It is on Thursday uh, next week, but it's at the Yankees, so we're not going to that one. That'll be game five. Yeah. Well, we only have two games here. Yeah, they they get three, we get two. Why? They have a better record than us. They did. Sons of bitches. God, I hate the Yankees. God and then we just get so impotent around we got the a, Yankees. We got a pitching problem. Yeah. We're, we're not deep enough. No, and they can smack the ball, too. We only beat them by one home run, I think, for the all-time lead. Or maybe two. One what, or what two. was the final number? We had I a little wager on 306. that. I think was 306. I think I saw 307. Was it 307? Yes. Then I won. What? Oh, no, because you, you yeah, price, price is right. right. Did you yeah. me? Yeah, I got... Uh, I got... Uh, let me see if I can dig that up quick. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Home runs for the Twins. I think I went 305 and you went 306. Yeah, and I think it was 307, but so I have... Price is right of me. That's okay. I have no... Uh, it's what? Not that there's anything wrong with that. Dude. Sorry. It's another bad habit of mine. I don't know. I don't even so, know where to look to find that, so I'm gonna get, I'm just going to say it was 307. So we got... Done. Odorizzi and Barrios, and then the rest, I think we're going to have to do like bullpen games or something. <laughs> It's not good. So, uh, but it's too late to get anybody. Like we needed to, uh, we needed to identify these people a while ago, right? Right. Like you can't just add. When is that last point that you can bring in pitching for today? A playoff run. I think today at two or three o'clock. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. three hundred and seven. You have to have your ro- your twenty five man roster set, and then that's your guys for this series. Then if somebody gets hurt, you can add another one. Well, it sounds like we need to fake some injuries. <laughs> <It sounds like laughs> we could bring Clemens back. All right, here's the deal. I got a couple of things I got to get to. Go ahead. Uh, so I've been running into a lot of people starting to build a little fan base. Seven footers? Oh, dude, I saw some seven footers this week. <laughs> I took pictures of them, but it's so hard to scale them. At the kickball game, I saw a guy, I'm like, you know, and I almost have to do a selfie with them so I can see how high they, how tall they are. <laughs> right. And uh, so, yeah, they were everywhere. But I'm running into a lot of people who are commenting on my ability to dominate the restaurant world. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you definitely do dominate. So uh, I was at a uh, an event here in the in the in the town the other day, and uh, somebody came up to me who's a fan, and they're um, they're. Uh, commenting about damn dude you eat out a lot you know and i and i've been starting to notice you know it was back when i was back when i was power drinking i started to notice that maybe i was drinking a lot (laughs) we're having a problem so you know what i did no well here hey let me set the event up please do we finished a soccer game friday or monday in the rain pouring rain and uh so the daughter and the son are like we want to ride home with you we don't want to wait around on the bus it was pouring. Right. And uh, so this is in Rockford, way out west. And the daughter's like, hey, if we go to the Baja house, I'll get chicken wings. That'd be cool. And I'm like, well, I, I, you know, I got a nice burrito bowl there. I can That's go a ta- Mexican setup. Yeah. All right. Run by an Asian guy. Figure that one out. Hmm. Not that you can't do that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with but, that. But uh, uh, so anyway, we, oh, we drive. It's like a 25-minute drive to Wyzetta. We roll into the lot, and I'm like, oh, man, not a lot of cars here. It's closed. Like, it was closed uh, on Monday. Nothing in the window, no reasoning or anything. Just closed. Just closed. You didn't try to yelp that shit or stuff? Any? No, way? no. I, I'm, I'd i like to think I have a... Uh, no. 
No, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 we're so, going. So then we regardless. go. Oh, Jade Fountain. So we roll into the Chinese place. Yeah. And just obliterate the Chinese place. I mean. Beat it up. When you throw 80 bucks down on Chinese food. You did pretty good. And you got to like eat when you go home because it's Chinese food. Right. But we're sitting there eating and, and my daughter is like, yeah, you guys eat out a lot. Because she's hardly ever with us. That's why when she said, hey, I'll do this, I'm like, hey, we're going to jump on it because, you know, we don't ever get to hang out with her. Is she a fan? Of the show? Is that, is that the fan you met with? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. These, no, no. No, she just, uh, she just uh, pushed forth the point a little more. So earlier, I think last week's show, I gave up nachos for 30 days. You did. And I'm still nacho free. Happy to be nacho free. I don't know. So we're sitting at the Jade Fountain, and I'm listening to her talk about how much we go out to eat. And I said, you know what? Here it is. Lockdown. 30 days, no restaurants. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm what, five, four days into it. I'm doing nothing. fine. I'm doing fine. No shakes, no nothing. What are you eating? Ooh, it's been tough. <laughs> a lot of box pizza. <laughs> We're well, working a lot of tombstone, man. It was funny, though, because on Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, the wife fires up the deal for the tacos, and uh, and I get home from work, and I'm like, oh, yeah, Taco Tuesday, my favorite day of the week. And uh, she goes, she goes, uh, yeah, yeah. And I look at the, the taco meat, and it, I'm like, ooh, <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> and uh, and she goes, oh, I forgot to drain the grease. I'm like, well, you can't just keep going. Like, we need to fix it. You know, like, I'm not eating that. It's like soup. <laughs> so I drain the grease and whatever. She gets all pissed. She's like, see, this is why we don't eat at home. I can't even make tacos. Oh I'm like, God. good God. Come on. So we're getting through it. I just have to cook a little more. I mean, she can cook. It's just she, you know, whatever. How many items does she make? Because my wife is a five-item wife. Oh, she's got a five-item plan, huh? Yeah, there's. If she's making dinner, it's one of five things. God, I think I'm a probably. I think I'm. I'm thinking she's a five-item person. Yeah. Also, do you know what they are? Uh, she makes uh the tacos most yep. of, most of the time they're on. Do burgers and brats, they count together? Or is that two nights? That's two nights at your house? Burgers and brats don't even count. Anybody can do a burger and a brat. Oh, fuck. Then we're down to probably three. <laughs> three items. <laughs> three. She makes a pretty mean broccoli pasta thing. Yep. Well, spaghetti doesn't count either then, does it? Yeah, spaghetti counts. Oh, it does. If you make your own sauce. If you don't make your own sauce, it doesn't no. count. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, you can't That's buy the sauce. That's as crazy as me running a marathon. You got to make your own sauce. No. So two. Two or three. <laughs> two, two or three. three. Two or three. Although I did have a nice uh, keto. It turned out to be an egg bake, but it, it it wasn't sold to me as an egg bake, but it was pretty good. Uh, but no, she's probably got three. I just, maybe four. I can't think of what the other two are though. Can you eat eggs with keto? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Keto, yeah, that's... It's yeah. just no grain, right? Yeah, well, I don't know. It's all fat, high fat, high fat, luxury fat, big time. Big time fat, baby, big Give time. Give me a double bacon Whopper. Do it. With no bun. I uh, I think that... Uh, Holy thinking, shit, thinking, your brain is not working this morning. Well, well I think I'm it? multitasking. <laughs> I think the kid's filling out a college application. She's asking me questions as we go. Like I gave you those answers already. Uh, what are what are your what is what is Chris's five? Chicken Devon. Chill What's it? Chicken Devon? It's a chicken thing with rice and chicken and oh, cheese shit. and we broccoli. Can do that. We can do that. Yeah. Chili. Uh, she makes good chili. I'm counting right. it. All I'm right. Counting all right. It. All right. You can okay. have chili. She makes her own spaghetti sauce, so that counts. She Italian? No. No. Huh. No, but it's really like like you'd believe she was Italian because her spaghetti sauce is to die for. Oh, it's a really good. I'll bring you some. All right, so that's three. Yeah, do. Yep. Uh, then she. I'd makes, rather have some of the um, chili. Were you talking about chili or were you talking about the spaghetti? I don't spaghetti. Want, I don't want spaghetti. I want. I'll chili. bring you her chili. Okay, and then she Does makes. Does the chili have corn in it? There's a real no. big debate about corn and chili. No corn. I like corn in my chili. You well, put chocolate you in it. No, is there I chocolate don't. in it? Hey. 
She's the one that's making this, not me. Well, it's fucking Stop chilly, asking dude. me questions, it's not like man. She, it's not like she's <laughs> flying to the moon or anything. All I can do it's is chilly. tell you what she's making. If, she, if you can count chili, I should be able to count brats and hamburgers. She makes really good beef burgundy. How come I don't know? That has mushrooms, right? Yeah, and Hey, did you go pick onions? that mushroom? No. I, the, the graveyard mushroom? Yeah. I can't do it, man. One graveyard <laughs> mushroom. So is that, that that's four. Yeah. Oh, and then... Uh, uh, tortellini soup with beef and it's it's oh. it's, it's really good oh she makes that too yeah i don't think about beef though but there's tortellini in there yeah but there's beef and it's you know I, what it's I'm my a, least I, favorite thing on the on the menu on the five yeah so is it just in a rotation <laughs> kind of but she makes so much of it we just freeze it and then thaw it and eat it oh oh she can make meatloaf too six she makes really good meatloaf oh there's there's nothing wrong with a good loaf. No, good meatloaf is. If you go to a restaurant, will you eat a meatloaf? Hell no. Why? <laughs> Why not? Because it, I, I. I mean, I wouldn't either. There's no way. There's certain things I will not eat at restaurants. Ooh, give us two. Meatloaf and steak. Because you can make steak better. Yeah. Eric says that same thing. Yeah. Fuck that. If I don't have to cook, I'll, I'll eat a steak. No. Hey man, there's my favorite thing in the world is to go to the. The trashiest place on the face of the earth, and that's the Texas Roadhouse. Like I don't even like Steak. the Fogo de Chow thing. Oh, that's coming. That's what's. That's what's going to be the hardest thing about my no restaurants. What do you restaurant got? week comes up? The week of the sixteenth. Fogo de Chow's on there. God, I might have to make an exception. You know what? I might go a week long and then take that week for. Doesn't work like that. Yeah, it's my game. I can do what I want. It's like hey, saying you're going to run a marathon, but you're going to do it in six days. It's still a marathon. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like, still a marathon. I'll drive the you car to where I got. You didn't say consecutive miles. <laughs> I'll drive the car to where hey. I got in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Darren? Oh, he's still up in Duluth finishing the marathon. He's only got two days left, he says. So yeah, mark that on your calendar. 30 days off restaurants, 30 days off nachos. Um, thus far, week one, I'm okay. No shakes, no problems. Hey, was that... Uh, your lumber leader the other day, Bednards. Yep. Hey, how's your no Home Depot going? I had to break down ah! one little item because it was paint, which is on my hands right now. But other than that, good. All right, so I'm at Menards, and uh, I had a I had a, a turnover on one of my properties, and I'm telling you, I've seen some shit. Yeah. But these people, like, oh my gosh, like we're social services. You got a kid in this environment. You know, when they, um, classic renter situation, they don't ever call you. They don't ever notify you that there's a problem. So I get into this house and like, there's cabinet doors missing. Like, where, what'd you do with the cabinet doors? It was just too much work to open them. <laughs> just I think what it was them. though, is this guy, uh, had a little, uh, altercation with one of his lady friends a long time ago. And, uh, and broke I think, him. I think he maybe had a little, uh, temper he was throwing the fist so i think he the broke him because a couple of the whole doors have holes in them i mean i'm just like what and then you go in the basement litter box full of litter and and it's like full of water like the basement filled up with water and they didn't do anything now you know keep that in perspective the basement is only like 10 feet by 10 feet right but it's where the furnace is and when the basement fills up with water you can't have the furnace filling up with water because <sighs> they had a window air conditioner i'm like this thing's got Brand new furnace, brand new air conditioner. Why aren't you using it? It's because they nuked the freaking furnace. They did? I think so. I don't know. I got to send my guy out. But it's like one of the worst turnovers I've ever had. It's like horrible. So they're not going to get their deposit back? No, but you know what? I still got to fill out the form and send it to them and say, listen, you're a piece of shit who wrecked my house. Here's the list of stuff and all the expenses. Because if I don't, then they go and they get a thing and blah, blah, blah. blah. I don't even want So do you think that they... Did they tell you they Ooh. were leaving or just Oh, left? no, yeah, they left. Well, it was it was kind of a, uh, you know, it was one of these things where uh, there was some damage to the floor in the back. And uh, and he had mentioned it, but I'm like, you know, we'll get out there, whatever, not a big deal. And, uh, and, 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 and then one day he sends me a thing. I think he was all drunk. It was at night. Hey, I'm getting an attorney and we're suing you. And I'm like, what? What's going on? He goes, there's goddamn hole in the floor blah, blah, blah. so I, we got kids in this thing so i so i go out there and there was a hole in the floor 
So I immediately got somebody out there, got it fixed, blah, 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 blah. So ever since then, it's been kind of a pissy match. Well, once right. his lease was up, I'm like, hey, I got to raise your rent, you know, because I wanted him to leave. I've had enough. They right. store so much shit in the yard. I get letters from the city all the time. So I'm giving it a full once over. It's going to be like polished steel when it's done, man, because that's what I do. I mean, I just have a, I just <laughs> just have a touch. Just make it sharp. Yeah, I just make it look purty. <laughs> yeah. But as long as it doesn't need drywall. Hey, uh, I know we're running long here, but I got a quick, uh, I got a quick uh, note from a listener today. Yeah, and uh, I wanted to get your feeling on it. Let me see if I can uh, recreate the actual uh, audio from this challenging situation. Um, Let's hear it. But I think, uh, are you going to have a? Are Is you going to complain? Because I don't do complaints. No, nah, we don't. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm not doing complaints. The com- the, oh, the complaint aisle is uh, down the way. You know what? I think I... It um, goes to customer service. Goes directly to the customer service window, which we check once every six months. All right. So let's get your opinion on this cont- controversial issue here. Are I you ready? I can't wait. Let me make sure we're dialed in. Here's a sample. Let me know what you think. This was at a... Uh, a uh, rally for Alexandra Ocasio Cortez. Yes. I think I probably know what this is. I and a listener sent us this. Yes. All right. We only have a few months left. I love that you support the Green Deal, but it's not getting, you know, getting rid of fossil fuel is not going to solve the problem fast enough. A Swedish professor saying, you know, we can eat dead, dead people, but that's not fast enough. So I think your next uh, campaign slogan has to be this. We got to start eating babies. We don't have enough time. There's too much CO2. All of you, you're, you, you know, you're a pollutant. Too much CO2. We have to start now, please. You are so great. I'm so happy okay. that you're really supporting New Green Deal, but <laughs> it's right. not. You know what the first thing that comes to my mind is? Awesome. No, take that bitch <laughs> off the babysitter list. <laughs> well, I I think if your I think if your babysitter shows up and she has a shirt on that says we must start eating the babies. Yeah. You know what? We decide to stay home tonight. Yeah, we're, we're actually not going to go not out. Going out. We're just going to. So dine this in. can quickly become a uh, AOC Cortez, whatever her name mm-hmm. is, bashing moment. But I don't know that this is on her. I mean, I'm not, I'm not here nor there. I'm not a fan. I don't, you know, whatever. I don't agree, disagree, whatever. I don't want to get into that, but what kind of cuckoo bird does something like this? Like, is this, is this what we've like, is this where we're at? We're like, I mean, you can't just shoot her. You got to like come up with a plan. Well, I think that's a troll thing. That was a, what does that mean? That's just trying to get her 15 minutes of fame. She's not, that that had nothing to do with, and I think the Green New Deal, by the way, is a joke. I, I and I'm not defending anything about that with AOC, but this you can't hang it on her. I totally agree. <laughs> this is just somebody trying to be a troll. You know, come on. You went into a public forum and you stood up and said, "We have to start eating babies." <laughs> right. I, I mean, what, you immediately put her in the straight jacket and into the padded room? Who does that? It's somebody that's absolutely insane. Effect. I don't totally insane. understand why we have, uh, uh, you know, I, I, not that they should start policing the interweb, but the fact that this gets out, then it spreads more. You know, then there's more cuckoo birds out there. See, I think this was somebody that wasn't a fan of hers. Oh, I believe it. I believe this is it. Somebody that's trolling her, you know, just trying to cause her Shock trouble. Shock and awe. Yeah, exactly. Shock and awe. And then grab the 15 minutes of fame to get from it. And boy, she's famous just now. Just garbage. Just garbage. I don't. Yeah, hey, I got. I got to tell you, I, uh, I, uh, my one of my side hustles is uh, doing voiceover. That's uh, a nice side hustle. Reading for for commercial work and whatever. Well, it's political season, right? So I put together some political demos and I sent them to my management lady and uh, I got I got a kickback. <laughs> One's too aggressive. Yeah, really? Let's hear that. No, I can't play that. Put drop that onto the onto No, that. but I and, and and I'm in the middle because I have my producer and I have this gal and I'm like, I, I don't you know, I, I I thought it sounded a little aggressive, but you know, I, I I'm not the you know, fifteen year season veteran here. But I know that 
sometimes the acting world can be a little sensitive to a political situation. Correct. But I, um, yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting. We actually got into that this morning and uh, been trading some emails with, hey, uh, this works, that doesn't work, you know, da 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 da. So. I don't know. I think we're in for a long political season. A whole I, and year this of is it. just a glimpse into the window. Like, holy crap. Say what you want, do what you want, but we're going to keep podcasting. Screw them. Yeah, we are. Screw them. We're going to make a difference. I don't know if we're going to make a difference. Hey, I'll we tell you what fans, makes a difference though. when my fat ass can run 26 miles, is 26. it? 26.2. I think I could probably commit to 26, but I don't know about the point two. <laughs> yeah, if you do it over seven, you know days. what? You know why I'm not sure I want to do that? Why? Because they say that your toenails are going to fall off, and I just can't. I don't know that I want to handle that. What? <laughs> wait, yeah. Wait. What? Yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? You you have some serious toenail destruction from running a marathon. That's legit, man. Look it up. They're gone. A few of them. You're going to lose if, a few, I foot guy. If that's on my butt, I mean. Uh, yeah. You can't back out now. All right, I'll take it. Really? Yep. Whew, you can always get some. Monday artific- morning, 5 o'clock. Artificial nails. If you're looking for me, Jesus. I'll be on the road. I'm coming. Uh, so uh, <laughs> watch the, uh, you know, maybe we'll get that on the YouTube, but I'll definitely post it on Instagram. I'm going to be at your house at 445 <laughs> with, my, with my GoPro. And we're going to film this half mile and see how it goes. Okay. I'm setting my alarm clock as we speak. <laughs> okay. We have to do it on Monday? Yeah. And why at 5? You can't do it at like 7.30? I had shit to do. I'm more of a 7.30 Stuff guy. Stuff to do. I got a day to <sighs> start. And it's probably going to take me a good hour to run that half mile when I start. All I'm right, so fans. out of shape. I you can heard it walk here. Upstairs. Tune in next week on your uh, Rocky training leader. Hey, one quick question. Do you think I should go get like a heart scan before I do this? Ah, fuck it. Roll with it. (laughs) (laughs) No, now that I said that, yes, you should. (laughs) EKG. I mean, there's no reason why you can't do the half mile on Monday, but you might want to mix in a little visit because... Just a little stress test. You're the epitome of health. I I I am. I I am. They're probably going to say, hey, no problem, Mickey Mantle. You got the gene, you're in. <laughs> Stay tuned to your uh, Rocky workout leader and uh, see what happens next week when we update you on the No Nacho, No Restaurant running a half mile. What, what, do we, what, what, is, our, what is our projection by next Friday? Three quarters of a mile? You're going to gain a quarter mile each week? Well, let's just see how the body goes and then we'll make a plan after that. I'm forecasting an epic fail. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week to the DK Project and you'll get all the answers. Everyone have a good week. We'll check in then. Peace. That's it. That's the end. That's a wrap. Read the shtick. That's a wrap for today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends. If you'd like to reach out, you can use the studio line at 612-504-6500 or by email, the DK Project Podcast at gmail.com. And of course, there's always social media at the DK Project Podcast. Thanks for tuning in.